Deep Reasoning Networks, Combining Deep Learning with Reasoning for Discovery, From Solving Puzzles to Mapping Crystal Structures. Deep Reasoning Networks enabled the discovery of new materials for solar fuels. In contrast to standard solar panel energy, which depends on intermittent sunlight, solar fuels can be stored for later use. To explain deep reasoning networks, let's start with a simple example. A multi-MNIST Sudoku is a set of two overlapping handwritten Sudokus. Can you demix this multi-MNIST Sudoku? Deep reasoning nets, or DR nets, solve multi-MNIST Sudoku by combining deep learning with reasoning about the Sudoku rules to demix the Sudokus without requiring Sudoku examples to train on. In a Sudoku, a given digit or letter cannot be repeated in a row, column, or box, as illustrated by the colored boxes. More importantly, DR nets solve real-world scientific problems, such as crystal structure phase mapping, which involves identifying and demixing the crystal structures, or phases of materials, given a collection of X-ray diffraction patterns. DR nets do not require labeled data to train on for automating crystal structure phase mapping. DR nets compensate for the lack of training data by combining deep learning with reasoning about crystal structures and thermodynamic rules. In DR nets, an interpretable structured latent space is key to incorporating reasoning about prior knowledge into deep learning. DR nets unraveled the previously unsolved bismuth copper vanadium oxide system using only 307 X ray diffraction patterns and identified and separated 13 crystal structures in 19 unique mixtures of the 13 single phase materials. By encoding the scientific principles of crystal structure phase mapping, DR nets enable the discovery of complex mixtures of crystalline materials that convert solar energy into storable solar chemical fuels. This work was recently featured in Nature Machine Intelligence. Preliminary versions and related work were presented at the International Conference on Machine Learning, the International Conference on Constraint Programming, and made available on archive.